The Champions League is back and today we are doing the predictions for Tuesday and Wednesday's games. Now this is obviously the group stage match day one. There's a lot of games to get through so let's not waste any time. Let's go into a little bit of detail in each game and do our predictions for each one. In the comments I would love to hear who you think is going to be the biggest upset of the week because it's a lot to ask for all of your result predictions. So biggest upset, biggest flop, those kind of things, let me know. Let's do this! Up first is AC Milan against Newcastle. Huge game. Newcastle in the hardest group in the Champions League. Unlucky for them as they are finally back in the competition. And away at AC Milan to start things off. You would have loved to have the first game as a home game just to get the crowd behind you and absolutely smash it out the park. They haven't looked incredible. I know they've had hard fixtures to start off the season, but... I really, really can't say that I think Newcastle win this one. So I'm going to go AC Milan 2, Newcastle 1. Next is Group G and we have Young Boys up against Leipzig. I feel like this is just a pretty simple one, isn't it? Young Boys are not going to be predicted by many to do anything other than lose a lot of their games in the Champions League this season. We're going to go with a Leipzig win and I'll go Young Boys 0, Leipzig 2. Group E is Feyenoord against Celtic. A hard one to call. Obviously, the, the Celts are going to be saying they're obviously going to win this one, but we all know they don't do that good in Europe. So maybe I'll be kind to them today and say, I think this one is going to be without that much knowledge on either team this season. Feyenoord 1, Celtic 1. Lazio up against Atletico Madrid. Now, Atletico losing out on Jao Felix this season. He has been loaned to Barcelona, although they've not really had him for a little while, have they? He was always supposed to be the star boy that maybe, maybe could have pushed them to something like a Champions League, but no. Once again, no. Lazio, on the other hand, losing a couple of their players in the summer, especially Milinkovic Savic was a big one, losing him to Saudi. So this is a tough game. We all know that Atletico at home are ridiculously hard to beat and just their defensive block and stuff like that. But away, not as incredibly like unified as a team. So I think this is a hard one. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, though. I'm going Lazio nil, Atletico 1. PSG v Dortmund is the other game in that crazy group. PSG this season, a little bit dodgy. Obviously, they have now got a completely revitalized front line. Instead of Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe, you've got Mbappe still there, smashing it as per usual. Colo Mouani and Usman Dembele, though. Incredibly interesting. The loss of people like Verratti as well is massive for them. So... Really intriguing to see how they're going to do this season. Dortmund, on the other hand, losing one of the best players in the world in Jude Bellingham. So PSG at home, I think, are going to take the dub. 2-0 to them is my prediction. Man City up against Red Star Belgrade. There's not much to say here. Haaland to smash it. Man City win. 4-0. Barcelona at home against Antwerp should also be a really, really simple one here in theory. I'm going to go Barca 3-0. And then the last game on Tuesday is Shakhtar Donetsk against FC Porto. Tricky one. Really, really tricky one this because two slightly unknown teams in terms of how they're going to perform this season. Sometimes in the Champions League, they show up and manage to get through a group stage other times. Just bottom of the group, absolute flop. So tricky and it's very very hard to say especially based on how they're both doing in their leagues obviously they're expected to do really well but then Champions League is a different beast I think I'm gonna go Shakhtar 1 Porto 3. Now we move on to Wednesday's games and there are also some pretty good fixtures on that day as well. First up, Galatasaray against Copenhagen in Manchester United's group and I'm gonna go for a Galatasaray win today 2-0. The other early game is Real Madrid against Union Berlin, who actually had a fantastic season last year. But it's Madrid in the Champions League. I know that they don't have Benzema, but they do now have Bellingham, who is just running the show ever since arriving at the club in the summer. And so maybe he's going to take them to win the whole thing again. It wouldn't surprise me based on how good he's been. So surely Real Madrid win this one. Let's go 3-1 they will concede. Berlin to take advantage of that Militao injury. The big one that everybody cares about is Bayern Munich against Manchester United. I mean, I'll be watching us play against Norwich. 
because we're in the championship. But it's fine. I really don't mind that I'm missing this mega fixture at all. No, not one bit. But Man United, shaky as hell starting off this season. It doesn't look like they've really grown much and this Ten Hag system is just not working yet. Maybe once Hoyland and a couple of other players are fully back from injury, we'll start to see things just clicking and they'll get things working. Whereas Bayern, I mean, they win the league every year, even though it was close last year. And now they've gone and signed Harry Kane. Surely he's back in tomorrow. So I'm going to go Bayern Munich 3, Man United 0. Sevilla v Long. I mean, Sevilla, we all know what they do. They go out of the Champions League, then they go and win the Europa League. So is that going to happen again this season? The start of their season has been a mess, but so has Long's is. So two teams that are completely out of form right now. This could just be a terrible game. We'll go with a one all draw because I can never bring myself to predict a nil-nil. Too boring. Arsenal have PSV at home to start off their Champions League. Oh, it's going to be a tasty one. PSV looking good as they normally do in the Eredivisie. Arsenal also looking pretty good. They're a little bit behind Man City right now and they pushed them so close last year and fell at the final hurdle. So what do we think is going to happen this year in the league? I don't think they're going to do it, but being in the Champions League is huge for them. And I think that they're going to start things off really well. They're going to win 3-1. Napoli, after their crazy season last year, start off their UCL campaign this year against Braga away. I think they're going to smash it, right? It's, it has to be. It was not quite what we expected last season. Everyone thought they were going to be the ones that ended up against Man City in the final. They fell a bit before that. I think they'll do well this year. I think they're going to win 3-1 away from home. Real Sociedad come up against last year's Champions League finalists, which is still crazy to say about Inter Milan. And I think that they're going to struggle. Uh, Inter have got off to a good start this season and are looking decent once again. I think they're going to win. I think it's going to be Real Sociedad nil. Inter 2. And the final game of this week's set of Champions League fixtures is Benfica at home to Salzburg. Obviously, these kind of teams always do well in their respective leagues and then come into the Champions League and normally find things a bit difficult. But I think Benfica are going to do quite well this season. That's... is it an outlander shout to say that? I don't know. But I think that they're going to get the win here. And it's going to be comfortable. Benfica to win 3-0 as the final prediction for this week. Let me know who you think is going to be the biggest flop and the biggest surprise this week. And let's get into the Champions League. It's back. I'll see you for more of these in the future. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.